All right, uh, here's another video. This is going to be kind of a unboxing slash review thing. Nothing of particular merit other than showing you this is what you get with this product. And the product today is a $16 single burner propane stove from Walmart. It is the Ozark Trail brand. It goes up to 10,000 BTUs of heat, a uh, single burner stove, so pretty simple setup. Uh, it does not come with propane. You'll have to buy that separate, and it uses these 16 ounce propane tanks. Or you can get the uh, adapter and adapt this over to a 20 pound cylinder. <clears throat> and uh, that's basically what you get. This is all I did was unbox this and put it together, which was the, ba the base slips on. And then after you do that firmly, you uh, turn these little feet outwards. And otherwise, they slide back in this circle here that you see and out of the way for easy storage. And you get the burner with a regulator on top that whenever you first get everything, you will have this little piece right here up in the brass to protect the threads. And you'll have a black piece doing the opposite snapped around the top of the threads here on the tank. Now each tank's roughly three bucks and fifty cents from Walmart, give or take. I got two tanks for six twenty something, I think it was, plus tax. And what I'm doing now is this is going to be me heating it up and letting this anneal or whatever you want to call it. So what we're going to do is light this paper towel on fire and then gently crack this open about an eighth a turn. Let it sit for about a second and then we're just going to touch this over like this and that way it keeps our hands away from the initial whoosh of fire. So let's get to it. Just a quick note, reading through the uh, manual. <clears throat> now this states what you get. Tells the model number if in case you need it. Uh, yeah, just a quick, uh, you know, how to use this. It will produce carbon monoxide, so don't use it inside without fresh air available. And that means a cracked window. And when I say cracked, you know, you need it three or four inches down to introduce a new air in and preferably another window out if you're going to use it in a vehicle so it has a cross flow preferably i mean it does say outdoor use only this is just in pinch if you need to use it for heat inside a small space but it says quite explicitly use only the 16 psi regulator included with your stove so don't use 20 or 30 or whatever because it will break the diaphragms inside and cause leaks so just a heads up uh see yeah just be sure all the burner ports are lit and if if it doesn't light the first time close the valve completely firmly and wait five minutes for all gas to dissipate uh even if you don't smell it doesn't mean that there's not fumes so again be very careful uh shut off the regulator which is that bad boy, turn it clockwise. Turn it counterclockwise to open it. Alrighty, and now we got it on. It's right here with the door open, so we're good to go. I'm just letting this anneal, you can see it getting darker and stuff, and just let it do its thing. That way that uh, anything, any contaminants, fumes and stuff don't go into any kind of food I'm trying to cook. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, it took me a few lights. Uh, I learned, turn this about halfway on as you Put your flame over to it and that way that it'll uh actually catch i was just barely cracking the valve and it wouldn't it didn't have enough pressure so uh yeah that's, that's about it for this